Yeah. So you're going to come into your car park from over there. Yeah. If you're going to come into your car park from there, you're either going to do, you used to do only a driving bay park. So you come into this car park there and you do a driving bay park down there. Usually there, or you do a driving bay park where we are here. Okay. You do another here. Okay. Yeah. Coming out of this car park here. Are we touching that line? Mm -hmm. That will fill your driving test. Okay. okay, now do you understand why this was happening? Yeah, I think the problem was I was looking and then uh -huh. I was into too long. I needed to probably stop here. Okay. I realised it wasn't going to go. Right, yeah. okay, we'll discuss that in a minute. Yeah, anyway, okay, so you're going to come into the car park from there. If you come into the car park from that side, yeah. you're going to do a driving bay park over there or you'll do a driving bay park over here. Now, see where that car's coming in? Yeah. Over here. As it comes up the road here, that is technically the next left. Right. That's technically the next left. As you come into the car park here, and you're doing a bay park here, you're looking over here, that's fine. You're looking into your bay, that's fine. You don't look into your blind spot. Yeah. Now, the reason why you're not doing it, for whatever reason, sorry, the, the reason why you should be doing it, they could come along here and just come cut through the base. It's an empty car yeah. park. Yeah. Okay, then you might do what they call a reverse bear park. If you're going to do a reverse bear park, you're going to do the reverse bear park over there. Okay. In that middle aisle there. Yeah. You'll do it there. You might do a reverse bear park on this side over here. But it's very, very rare you do a reverse bear park on this side you. where your car parked right. right now. That's another thing. Okay, so um, now I want to go through a uh, lane sort of priority over here. Do you know that line there that we can see now, the end, li end line yep. there? Yep. And then we can see that lamppost there yeah. there's actually a giveaway there right but nobody adheres to it okay so the, the way the car park flows see where this car's coming down so we're going to watch this ranger as he comes down as he comes down he should be looking over that side as he's coming to the end over here technically there's a giveaway there and she takes a wide turn going yeah. out she's taking a wide turn because she's got a range rover people normally don't so as they come out they conflict with cars coming down yeah. there you almost get into an accident yeah okay that's that side Let's say for the sake of argument, you're going to do a reverse, uh, you're going to do a driving bay park there. If you're going to do a driving bay park, bro, and you're going to do it over there, and you're going to do it at 11 o'clock in the morning, it's suicide. Yeah. It's impossible to get out. Why? Because when you're reversing there, you're making, you're trying to do what they call effective observation. So when you're down there, you're looking out for cars over here yeah. at the end where that give way, yeah? yeah? You're looking at them. But what you do, and you can actually see this line, this flow of traffic going down. What you can't see is people by this railing yeah. turning right. Yeah. You physically can't see it. So when you're coming into a car park and he tells you to do a bay park on the right, I'm deaf. Okay? Right. So I come around the car park and then by that time I process what he said. Then I do a driving bay park over right. here. Lovely. And it's easy. I can see traffic there, I can see traffic here, and I can see them as well. But from that angle over there, it's almost impossible yeah. to see cars coming over and coming through. Now, the next part, okay, so over here, where that, um, where the black car's just gone now, yeah. right at the end over there, yeah. that's where the cars come through yeah. from. They come through over there, and they'll come along this road, where this blue car is, and they'll come down here. That's what they're supposed to do. If they come from that area there and they come down this road here, that is technically a different road. Right. So their road goes from there, from where the, the two sort of bollards, uh, where, two, uh, this, where that lady is there crossing yeah, over, yeah, yeah. and the road bends across here and it comes along here. That's where they're supposed to come. Now if there's somebody like me, he's going to cut across all three spaces of the car park. So when you're reversing your car out of here, you have to look, look out for them. Now if you're going to do a reverse bay park over here, they're quite simple to do over here. It's not an issue. Yeah. The only problem you're going to get is people cutting across and going down. Okay. People will not have patience for you. Yeah. Why? Because you're a learner and you're doing your own thing for your own driving test. And these guys are at home base picking up the plant pots and dropping them off home. Yeah. So you're there. Problem. Fuel's expensive. Nobody wants to wait around. We're watching this guy. Can you see how he's cutting across the yeah. car park? So when you're doing a reverse bay park, that's what they do. And the thing is, you have to be a bit more cautious about how they drive. And you see this one here, he's coming through properly. So come to the end, they'll go there and overheat the through road so it bends to the right. Do you understand this car park a little bit?